Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting near Replicant version 1 point a bunch of numbers. Uh, please don't play that. That that like little intro thing I'm pretty sure has spoilers in it, so we're not going to be watching that. But yeah, if you've never seen Nier played before, you were in for an absolute treat, both musically, narratively, and honestly aesthetically. There's just so many great things I can say about Nier. I have seen an LP of it before, although that was 10 years ago. But I do remember some of the main plot points and some of the background information that's necessary that uh, I can explain at some point for people that are interested. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. So, new game. And yeah, we're going to play on the normal, I think. Um, so, what do we want to name our character? I, I don't think there's a, a canon name for our character. I think a lot of people name the character Nier. Which, um, I, I think Yoko Taro has said that Nier is not the name of the character, so... Uh, let me ruminate on this for a second and see what I come up with. Alright, so I, I looked it up again to refresh myself, and yes, there is not a canon name for our protagonist. Most people just call them Nier or give them a different name. Seeing as I'm terrible with names, I'm just gonna name our character Nier. I would name them my, uh, my OC character name, but, uh, eh. Their name is Nier? Yes. The snow won't stop falling, so Nier said he'd stay here with me until it stops. He'll probably leave again when it does, so I kinda hope it snows forever. But yes, if you're blind on Nier, um, you're, you're going to be in for a treat here, because this game is absolutely amazing. Looks like we got our first fight. Press square to attack and L2 to defend. And we can away, uh, lock freaks. on with R3. I'll kill you all. Um, something else they haven't explained to us is that if we hold down a button in the middle of a combo, it does a different version of the attack, creating some uh, interesting combos. No, you don't. You're not hit me with that. Boom. Yeah. There we go. Hey, 
okay? You okay? I... I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. <laughs> But what about those monsters? Are they... Are they gonna come back for me? Don't worry, Yona. I won't let those things anywhere near you. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. that book. Not ever. Got it? Got it. Yeah, Yona, don't ever touch books. We want to keep you stupid. You're not allowed to learn here. Hello. We're gonna murder you, weird Damn. black How things. These things are there? Keep coming! I won't let you lay a finger on- Okay, Virgil. I need to protect Yona. Standor power activate. Yes. So I can now press L1 for dark hand, which is basically just this. We can uh, do a little dash thing with it. Um, we can also charge it. Get a bunch of fists, do big punch, and boom. I personally really like the charging one. It feels very good. This one, if you're just standing, is. Kinda, oh wait, no. I guess that's the same as when I'm running. It just feels better when I'm running. But, uh, I think we just leveled up there. Which is interesting, but... Yeah, for people curious, I have watched an LP of this. It was ten years ago, so I remember a lot of the big story points. And, uh, in, in some of the story and stuff like that, but I do not remember a lot of the game at all. Um, and, uh, since I do know a little bit about the story, I am gonna have to keep my mouth shut about various things. Holding the attack or magic buttons, you, uh, hold the attack or magic buttons to charge your attacks, altering their effects. This can be formed at any point during a combo attack. Okay, so that was what I was talking about earlier, where we can hold to, to get different effects. Um, we also just unlocked Dark Blast, and I haven't shown that yet. That is this. We basically have a little, uh, machine gun that comes from our book. This is very handy, basically, throughout the entire game. Uh, mostly because it also blocks enemy projectiles. Um, so if they're ever shooting at us, we can use that to block them. Which is very handy. Ow. How dare you. Now press L1 for Dark Execution. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Dark Execution. Bluey. Dead. They all get pinned up on the spears, which I think is super cool. Very, very, very cool effect there. Boom, boom. Okay, let's do some more Dark Execution. This music is amazing. Just wanted to note that. 
Oh my god, the way they just hang on the spears is so it's such a neat detail. And also pretty dark and gruesome, I gotta say, even though these are enemies. R2 to perform an evasive roll. And if you hold the stick, you can keep sprinting after the evasive roll. I'm not sure if that was in the uh, original Nier or not. I'm not sure what's been added as far as uh, gameplay mechanics go in this one compared to the original release. But, yeah. Oh, no. Away with you. All of you die now. Yes. Our gun is actually pretty damn good. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it, it is quite good. Seems kind of wimpy at first, but... No, it does some damage. Let's see if we can get some more of these uh, combo attacks in here. Oh, God. So, see, this is what I was talking about with it being able to block bullets. We can basically destroy them with it. So, if we ever get overwhelmed by bullets, we basically just pull this thing out and start firing. And it's this little guy, jerk over here. Hey, you. You can now press L1 for Dark Lance. Um, I remember this being the favorite attack of... Uh, the LP here that I watched play this. Um, it's it's pretty good at crowd control, does a lot of damage, and uh, it's especially a boss killer. Which is quite nice. Bang, 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 bang. There we go. Now, look at us. We're... It's that thing in video games where they let you see all of the cool abilities you'll get throughout the game at the very beginning. Just be like, this is how cool you will look. Except, hopefully you'll have a better weapon than a pipe. We're, we're Mike Hagaring it right now. Oh, I got them both? Oh, hi. There you are. Little aerial enemy. You don't take very many hits to get rid of. Yona! Yep, I'm gonna go check on Yona. Oh, and I am going with uh, English sub- uh, uh, the English dub rather than uh, Japanese with subtitles because I feel it's just better for LPs and this is how I experienced the first Nier. It wasn't English, because I did watch an LP of it, so... I think it's the best call. It's easier to watch when uh, you can actually understand what they're saying just by being able to listen to it. Alright, so that's not doing a lot to you, but what about what about Spear? How about Spear? Bang, 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 bang. Look at that damage. Big boss destroyer. So, I might just cheese this, because in this particular moment we do have uh, infinite NP. So I see no reason uh, to not just cheese this. Because getting next to a big guy like that seems kind of dangerous, but we can we can get a few swings in here. There we go. Keep switching targets, not meaning to. I might untarget sometimes. Sometimes I find it's handier to just untarget when uh, there's too many enemies. Like locking on for this is obviously pretty uh, crucial. I think I just got a counter, like, dodge there. Neat. Are you basically, uh, what's that enemy called in Kingdom Hearts that you fight a bunch of times over the course of the game? Uh... The dude you fight at the very beginning, the giant Heartless. When fighting large enemies, attack gauges will often appear on specific parts of their bodies. Destroy those parts within the time limit to defeat the enemy. So now we gotta actually, like, finish them off. Look at that. Just like that, we're level 30. This game's gonna be over in no time. Oh, I like the detail of the blood on my jacket. It's pretty cool. Alright, what's up? <coughs> Yona? Yona? Talk to me! It's okay. I'm fine. What about you? <sighs> Those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow, is that a cookie? Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <laughs> Yona! Yona! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. 
Yona, why did you? You've always been the one helping me. So, so, I just wanted you. No, Yona, Yona! We need help. Please, somebody, we need help! Help us! credits here. I absolutely love the music in the Nier series. I have so many songs from this particular game on my playlist thanks to this person right here doing great work. Oh, Yoda. Everything okay? We good? You doing all right? I love the little now loading thing. It's just like running, a little trotting. Oh yeah, just 1,412 years later. No big deal. No big deal. All right, I'm heading out. <laughs> Observant viewers will be like, what the hell? Can I come with you today? Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Wow, you guys, uh, live a pretty long time, huh? Don't seem to age, either. You vampires? Um, love you. Aww. I'll be good while you're gone. I promise. I'm sorry I'm so sick. Be careful, okay? Um, love you. Okay, that second um, love you was like, uh, can, can you leave now? You've talked to me like four times. All right, what are these sparklies? A medicinal herb. A hundred gold. Where's our weed stash? Nowhere? Okay. I should go to the library and see what Popola's up to. I mean, we could do that, or we could explore this big, beautiful world now. God, they did such a fantastic job with making this remaster look so pretty. Oh, that classic chicken crow dot sound effect. Your chicken dot wav from I always think of it from Ocarina of Time because it's the same one. You can use mailboxes to save your progress. Mailboxes can be found all over the world, so keep your eyes peeled. All right, how about we talk to some characters around here before we go to that uh, X objective on our map down there? You know the junk heap in the northern plains? It's a dangerous place, but it's famous for the valuable ores you can mine. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. All right, what do we got down here? Besides an ocean front, or not an ocean, I guess. It's like more of a lake, I suppose. Just throwing words out here. Hello. Hello. Morning. Hey, Devola. You keep running around like that, you're gonna trip and fall on your face. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, but thanks for the warning. Ah, uh, yes. I have this song on my playlist, specifically her version. Ugh, 
such a good song. Such good music in this game. Hey, come on. Let's play. Sorry. I've got work to do. Maybe next time. What about you, kid? Stop working and play with me for once. No, I'm good. There's no better sight than children in high spirits. It makes me feel young just looking at them. No. Alright, who else we got to talk to? Got a character over here? Hi. If we turn this entire plaza into a field, we could probably improve our food supply situation. Well, easier said than done, though. Anybody knows what happens to all the skyscrapers and stuff we were looking at before? Stuff seems a bit more, uh, overgrown now. And I guess it was 1400 years ago, though. Alright, so... I guess we can go ahead and go see Popola now. So yeah, there will be little things on the map like that where we can find, uh, little objects. Uh... I was looking to see if I could find one more. I think they're usually around trees and just hidden in various areas. Well, let's go see what Popola wants. Visiting Popola again today? I sure am. Thank you for noticing. Ooh, there's one. Alright, cool. I'm coming to see you today, Popola. I promise. I will say one thing as we're into the first episode of this. Um, this is likely going to be a very, very, very long LP, but it's one I wanted to do, and it definitely, definitely won the poll for next, uh, for the next AAA games to play, and, uh, yeah, this game has five endings. I think the original Nier had four. Um, this one has an extra added ending, so... We're gonna be here for a bit, so I hope you enjoy what you're seeing so far, because you're gonna see a lot of Nier's ass and me running around. If you, uh, want to watch this. I'll be sure to cut out some of the more redundant parts. Today, Popola sent me a new book about a big, great big tree. I really hope it was a happy ending. There's nothing worse than a sad tree. I gotta be quick about reading those. That loading time is a, a problem. These books speak of ancient technology far beyond anything we could ever imagine. What could have happened to this world? But please ignore the sound of the very la loud car person that doesn't understand what cars are. Seems like people did nothing but write books in the old days. And I can't read them either. They're all written in funny languages. Ash Ketchum, is that you? It really sounds like you, specifically the dub of Ash. Mother and father are very busy, so I have to watch my little brother. But I don't mind. He's pretty cool, and we like to come here and look at the books. Oh, isn't that great? You two get along. What a beautiful library, by the way. And yeah, it makes sense that they would have all of these books, but it also makes sense that a lot of them would be in languages that these characters don't understand, which sucks. I also noticed, yeah, we got a katana. On our, uh, on our back here. It is curved. At first I thought it was a, like an S-stock or something because of the hilt, but yeah, no, it's curved a little bit. So it's, uh, some kind of curved sword. Hello. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Hmm. That's worrisome. I know. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Thank you. Press, uh, the touchpad button to display a map of the local area. Take notes, Bravely Default 2. You must obtain a map of the area before you can view it. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I used my last one earlier. Here's some money. Popola, this is way too much. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to... It's okay. Really. Well, thank you, I suppose. Thanks, Popola. For everything. 
What's this all about? Just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us. We really appreciate it, is all. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other, right? Besides, everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. We will. I gotta say, I also just like the the na main character's name being near. Like it, I don't know. It it's 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 a name I like. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. It's not something you hear every now and again. It doesn't even seem like it could be a name, but now that I've heard it referred to as a name so much, it just makes sense. What are you doing here? Why are you out of bed? Yona. Oh, hey. Yona. You're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> I didn't realize he said that. <laughs> See, now your ribbon's all undone. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd see if the library had any books about how to cure my sickness. Yona. Look, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. You just need to eat and rest. If you take good care of yourself, you'll get better. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, I've got work to do, so I need you to head home. Deal? Deal. Yeah, your sickness is an interesting one. I Is it the same sickness that you had before? Because then, towards like the end of our, uh, I, I guess, past, I suppose, if you want to put it that way, um, you had like letters crawling up your neck. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall, while plague and disease run rampant. If that wasn't enough, Monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. There's no other choice. Alright. There we go. Uh, I also feel the need to point out, in case anyone uh, is wondering, yes, I can download the Automata clothes, but for right now, due to uh, the story and everything, I feel like it's probably best not to put that stuff on. <laughs> I feel like it would make more sense. Plus, I kind of like Nier's little doofy little outfit here. But yes, there are automatic clothes. I'm gonna learn to make awesome food for Nier. I better start working on a new secret recipe. I like how the loading screens give us little diaries from Yona. Because I do believe that was the person writing them. Alright, so we gotta get some mutton. Some mutton chops. Nier will just walk back into town and be like, Hey Yona, with mutton chops. Press R3 to set a nearby foe as your target. Move left or right while locked on to switch targets. Note that R3's function will change to pause auto battle when auto battle is active. So this game has auto battle. I don't... I don't remember if they had that before. So yeah, I just press circle to collect from that uh, dead ram. Mutton. Cool. Alright, I don't know really how much we gotta get, but let's just murder a bunch of, uh, rams, cause why not? I mean, they deserve it. Look at them. I better get this mutton back to the village. Uh, we can kill a few more. I mean, we're out here. Why not? Maybe it'll drop the world's best weapon. This is- this is how I get the best weapon, right? Just murdering a bunch of rams? Hey, you. No. Uh-uh. I know you wanna live, but... Plus, if I continue murdering rams, we get to hear this awesome music some more. Where they're, like, saying- where they're speaking in, like, a made-up language? Just for this game, but the language, like, sounds very good and cool, so I really love it. I'm really surprised they don't have this song on my playlist. I've got so much music from the first Nier on my playlist. I actually don't have a ton of Nier Automata's music. I, I have more songs that I love in Nier than I love in Nier Automata. What are Shades doing so close to town? They go, they're dying. That's what that's what they're doing so close to town. So uh, you can also notice I don't have my book. Uh, we have lost that power. So no book for us. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Hello. Die, please? No? Weird, like, little gremlin shades. I had no idea shades were loose so close to the village. Oh, man, yeah. Just wipe that blood off you before you go see Yona again, all right? <laughs> Covered in shade viscera, leaving bloody footprints. I bet people in the town would freak out. Like, oh no, it's okay, it's okay, it's just ram blood. Don't worry about it. God, it's so nice to, to be experiencing. Like I said, I've only ever watched an LP of this game, so it's so nice to actually be experiencing the game. What a treasure it is. I'm so happy the first Nier is getting the recognition it, it deserves, what with uh, how popular Automata was. Time to get this meat to the shopkeeper. Yeah, let's go uh, give our meat to the shopkeeper. Let's hopefully he wants. I mean, he might want us to beat it first, you know. No, I can do that. I can do that. Hello. Sure, wish I had a nice girl like Yona in my family. Why does your family suck? It seems like you're talking shit about your family. That's rude. Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and this isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. And tell Popola I said thanks, okay? You got it. 600 gold. You can buy and sell items, weapons, and materials at shops. I think Popola wanted three medicinal herbs. Uh, what to do next? Look along the bottom of the screen displayed with options to check what you should do next. All right. Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. I'll think about it. So, how many do we currently have? So we need to buy two medicinal herbs, which restore 30% of our HP. We have health salves, which restore 60%, cures poison. And we got a bunch of maps, which I would like to buy, which is very handy because I have enough money for all of them. Come back anytime. So that basically just gives us maps of uh, each individual area. Look at this map. We're gonna get very, very used to this map while getting these five different endings. All right, so, yep, let's run over here back to Popola. Have Devola cut in there for a second with her song. And uh, yeah, after we turn in this quest, I think we'll go ahead and end the first episode of Near Replicant off here. I never thought in my life I would ever be saying those words, but here we are. Devil and Popola came to keep me company today. They even sang a song. It was really great. I need to practice so I can sing to Nier when he gets back. Whew. See, it's hard to read those. It's hard to get through those in time. Gotta speed read them. Hello, Popola. How you doing? I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. All right. We have been told to go back to our sister. We're going to be coming to this place a lot, so get used to me jumping over that banister to get out of here faster. Because, uh, yeah. If I recall correctly, we're going to be coming here a lot. Like I said, the last time I watched an LP of this game, or have seen anything about this game, was 10 years ago. So, I'm gonna remember some things, but I'm going to be very blind on a lot of it. Very, very blind. But I'll have to keep my mouth shut, so I don't spoil major story points and stuff like that. Because I'm not used to doing, um, non-blind playthroughs. But, like I said, it's still mostly blind, and there is a lot of new content added in this version of the game that I am 100% blind on, so, yeah. With that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this first episode off here. Uh, you can ignore that. Uh, basically, I had a failed recording the first time. <laughs> the first time I recorded, uh, so I had some screw-ups in OBS, so... I basically got to and stopped at the exact same point, so... Um, I was not blind on the first 30 minutes of this game which you may have been able to pick up on if uh, you noticed that I was doing a little, a couple of things before the prompts told me to. But yeah, uh, that probably won't happen again. That was just a flub on my part because I got up early this morning. But uh, yeah, I only played the first 30 minutes. I in fact stopped at this exact same spot and made the same amount of progress. 
I think I futzed around a bit more the first time and found more medicinal herbs, but that was mostly just a waste of time, so... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Near Replicant. Boy, it is hard to not say Automata, because that feels like what I've been saying when I say Near like, for a very long time. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. If you're totally blind on this, you are in for an absolute treat, and I will see you next time.